Hello everyone, this is Mesolite with another video, Basics of ARCHICAD in Building Information Modeling. We're going to understand this by um, demonstrating using a 2D documentation versus 3D documentation. Um, let us start first by discussing uh, the 2D documentation. Uh, a, a 2D detail defines architecture and gives technical detailed instructions of how to build a specific constructive elements. In general, they are powerful tools to communicate designers' intentions. Um, the technical drawings are the architect's principal weapon. They are the ultimate form of expression and its way to communicate information within the people around the building industry and together with our clients, sorry. We'll start first by preparing the view to extract the detail from from the live beam section and by the use of detail marker tool from the document menu we're going to create a detailed drawing viewport uh, this is based on um, the detail that we're going to cut or the part of the section that we're going to detail is based on the complex profile complex profiles as you know is a very powerful modeling <coughs> sorry modeling tool that provides a great amount of data linked to them into the model another important aspect is how we control the way we display 2d information within our our drawings um, the 2d display options uh, use can give us a very good control of our drawings for this purpose we use 2d fills as you see fills are going to act as uh, the building materials of, of the element so in this case we're going to put as much detail as we can Spend your time and use two defaults to to add more details to your to your profile. Most of it will be the foundation of your independent two D um, information. So it's best you really make it work. Mm, the graphic options is also important. The representation of the materials also key to your your visualization of your information in your life section and the the independent detail so just really spend the time put more detail this is the wall plate um, to distribute the load from the the trusses evenly to the top of the um, beam, concrete beam. Just check on your section the results. Um, it looks it looks good. Everything check around all the corners or all the points where the the detail has been applied uh, as far as I'm concerned everything looks perfect so we're going to open our our viewport by so doing we're going to create an independent detail drawing viewport with the model source from the beam life section this is a platform to further enhance the, the communication on how the constructive elements are going to be assembled Um, we're going to achieve this by using 2D tools, e.g. like lines, fields, dimensions, text, label for annotations to indicate instructions on the construction, 
construction of elements, sorry. The independent detail will convert all the 3D elements into 2D lines and fills. And fills and some will be needless. So make sure you clean up all unnecessary information on the drawing to achieve a greater level of accuracy. Add more information and detail that were not captured from the beam life section, like the trans buttons using uh, 2D polyline to represent that. also a, a platform where you can work on the quality and the aesthetic of the communication of the communication of the drawing it has to be graphically appealing to be honest
avoid repetition of, of, of a lot of operations, some of the information can be copied from the previous projects, like uh, description of components. You find that details are more like typical in, in some cases. So there's no point of um, reinventing the wheel. Once you've set the the label to make sure you save it as an as, as a favorite so that you can reuse it in future project. Um, like I said, auto task is very um, powerful that you can copy the description from other project or annotations from specified documents from the suppliers of of materials and uh, equipment or products, sorry, construction products. And uh, this is the results when it's done. So with annotations and everything. There's another powerful feature that we really need to look at, uh, 3D documents. 3D documentation is very, very important in our industry. Also, it demands the use of 3D documents to communicate better design intent or the construction techniques. So technologies nowadays are pushing boundaries of design and construction. Our clients also are entering into this workflow as well. So they are demanding slowly more and more control, interaction and accuracy on their projects. So uh, it is a powerful feature that we are going to visualize our information in, in a manner where everyone can really appreciate and understand uh, um, the instructions and everything about the project. Unlike in traditional methods where things were really represented or, or visualized in, in an information or technical information that majority of the people in the building industry were uh, unable to really uh, consume or understand everything even the contractor included so this these models or this information it provides um, a realistic as well as a detailed as built view of of a building and this will allow an improved communication of the proposed design to developers engineers fabricators architects as well as clients so it's really really a demand nowadays in in, in our communications um, it is a very um, fun uh, operations where someone can uh, play around and try to really understand uh, the connections of the components or elements as well as the use of materials in, in construction. <music>also allows us to annotate and dimension uh, our drawing so to speed up the process normally we we also use the information from the 2d detail we copy and paste some information here and uh, 2d tools are also accessible from this view to really enhance further the, the communication.
is the final result. Um, I think I'm I'm happy with the final uh, uh, drawing. Everything that I wanted to achieve or accomplish is is is, is done. Um, the drawing looks intact. The quality is is acceptable. Um, it's a basically a variation of the 2D and the 3D. Um, you guys, if you have any methods how you can generate or uh, extract 2D information and 3D information from your, your BIM live sections, you can really share with us a comment below. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for this type of content. Um, thank you guys once again. I'll see you next video. Thank you.